la C, la Y, <risa> yo pa. Ella le vale buscar su lío, ella hizo planes conmigo. Al yo verte calofrío, mira cuando estoy contigo, ella se va, se va conmigo. Juro que se va, se va conmigo. Juro que se va, se va conmigo. Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching Club Play TV. I'm your host, Princess Santiago, and we're here with Carlos Arroyo, Boston Celtics' own. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me. So, how does it feel joining a caliber of a team such as the Boston Celtics? It feels great. Uh, I think, you know, have a great opportunity to win a championship here in Boston. And so far, it's been a great experience, you know. I love the passion that the, the, the fans bring to the game. So, uh, looking forward to a great postseason and uh, looking forward to a lot of great things with this team. So, what is it like playing with Rondo and Delonte after so many years playing against them? Um, it, it feels it feels good. You know, uh, they're very highly competitive guys. You know, uh, uh, they understand uh, what it takes to win. You know, the guys have been in the finals, so those guys have experience, you know, and, and hopefully I'll learn a lot from them. We all know that you're from Puerto Rico. Are you proud of us having, you know, the states having Noche Latina? Yes, definitely. Uh, you talking about play, right? Club play? No, Noche Latina. Oh, Noche Latina, the NBA? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's truly an honor, you know. Uh, we didn't have that when I started playing the NBA. Like, nine years ago, but we didn't have Noche Latina. And all of a sudden they started doing Noche Latina because of the more Hispanics players that we, we were getting coming into the NBA. So it's truly an honor. It's, we should feel very proud, you know, and, and doors keep opening for more and more Latinos to play in the NBA. And our job as Latinos that are in the NBA right now is to keep doing well and, and keep representing the way we're doing it so we can, you know, open more doors for those behind us. Great. Now, I'm curious to know who do you listen to on your iPod before a game? Um, Who's the artist that you most I listen like to Serac Romero, <laughs> make sure you check it out on iTunes. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, I listen to a little bit of everything. Um, Drake, uh, but I have to listen to my reggaeton, you know. I have to listen to my reggaeton before games, you know. I like Wisin Yandel, uh, Daddy Yankee, Joe Ali Randy, um, Cocuyo, the guys that are coming up, you know. Uh, Joe, They're all Latin artists from yeah, Puerto Rico? Yeah, definitely. You know, and I have a great amount of respect for what they do. And, and I love the music of my country, which is reggaeton, so uh, that kind of hypes me up before. <laughs> Not too many folks know that you have a record label, Arroyo Hit Music. Tell us about that. Well, Arroyo Hit Music is, I'm trying to build it up, you know. I'm trying to put songs out there. Last summer we came up with Seba Conmigo, so it was, it, was, uh, it was well received by the fans. and. And this upcoming uh, <laughs> summer song, I'm hopefully throwing out three more songs so I can build the label and, and obviously put the name of the label out there so so um, it can have a little bit more power and then in the future is hopefully signing artists to my label and producers and stuff like that, which is my, my main goal. Who's your producer that you mainly work with? Right. I record with a, with a producer from Miami uh, named Jacob Federal, Dominicano, uh, which is, he's very talented talented kid, you know, uh, very humble, uh, willing to learn and keep growing as a producer. So uh, those type of guys I'm, I want to, you know, uh, be close to so I can learn myself and grow as I'm doing right now. So, uh, and when I'm in Miami, I record in, in, in LP Studios in Miami, which is in, in Homestead. And it's, it's a little bit far away from Miami, but uh, it's comfortable for me because, you know, they treat me well. It's, it's, a, it's a Christian uh, production studio. so. Um, I know the guys there for many years and, and they're very humble and, and they have opened the doors for me to go and whenever I can to, to put some, some tracks there. Can you tell us about that track that you did? Well, so Amigo, um, we did it in, we recorded it in Miami, in LP Studios and that's all good. Uh, it's a track that we were when we were putting it together. We we saw Joe Mo in it. Joe Mo is a huge artist in Puerto Rico and very talented Reggaeton too. Reggaeton artist, right? Reggaeton artist, and uh, a guy that's been in the game for, for many years. So, but when we were putting the song together, we saw Joe Mo in it. You know, and we were like, you know, I'm gonna try to contact Joe Mo so we can, you know, put the track together, and hopefully bring him to Miami, and, and record the song. And as soon as I picked up the phone and, and called him, he was like, I'm in. 
he didn't even listen to the song, <laughs> you know. So he was like, like, like yeah, it. he was like, don't even put it on the phone, the, because I was, you know, he was in Puerto Rico and I was in Miami, mm -hmm. so he was like, don't even put it on the phone. You know, I, I want to hear when I get there. So I flew him to Miami, and I was so nervous because I didn't know what, what to expect or, or if he was gonna like the song, you know. So we get to the studio as soon as he he, he heard the, the first like minute of the song, he was like, all right, turn it off. I'm gonna write some stuff, and then we went from there. But he definitely brought the song to another level, so nice. I'm very appreciative for, for his job. So the spring and summer, what does Ahoyo hit music have for the fans? I have a lot of great things, you know, I had a lot of surprises and hopefully they can embrace it like they did Se Va Conmigo and we're going to keep growing as a as a company and hopefully, you know, last, last summer we came up with Se Va Conmigo videos, so I'm looking forward to doing hopefully two more videos this summer, so I'm excited about that. If you could work with one Latin artist, who would it be and why? Any uh, genre? All of them. I'm, I'm growing myself, you know, I, I want to get better. Um, I want to put my name out there in, in the business and, and obviously my label. And, um, but is there one that you truly do admire that you've always, you know, wanted to see yourself working with one day? Of course, there's everyone, but there's always this, just that one person that you might. Oh, but he's overall. not. She's not reggaeton. She's not reggaeton. So she? But you know, she can. Latin she can artist, do a little, so oh, Shakira. 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 Okay. I would love to do something with Shakira, <laughs> you know? And you know, it doesn't cost anything to dream, but. Um, I'm very positive that hopefully with the songs that we're coming up, you know, they will hit the, the, the radio and it will sound good and hopefully one day we can approach it. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Anytime. Alright, everyone signing out with Carlos Arroyo. I'm your host, Princess Santiago with Club Play TV. <laughs>